click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous lecture we have discussed about diazotization process as well as we have also discussed about that is how we can prepare diazotinum salt and based on that we have also discussed that is this diazotinum salts are very much unstable. So therefore we can prepare other compounds related to this diazotinum salt. So this is what I'm going to talk about that is sand minus reaction. So what is actually sand minus reaction that we talked about in this topic. So friends, in this topic, I'm going to talk about Sandmeyer's reaction. As we have discussed earlier also, that is, the diazonium salts are very much unstable. So therefore, we can prepare other compounds from diazonium salts. And this is what I'm going to talk about the Sandmeyer's reaction. So talking about, first of all, let me discuss about the aryl diazonium salts. That is, it could be represented by ARN2Cl. Suppose if I'm talking about an aryl diazonium chloride. So in this case, we see the nitrogen, it will acquire a positive charge while this Cl, it will acquire a negative charge. So suppose if you have to prepare different compounds, for example, like aromatic chloride, aromatic bromide or aromatic cyanide. So for that, we have to use HCl, HBr as well as HCl along with that of the cuprous compounds, for example. So this is what I'm going to talk about. And this is what I'm dividing this into three types or three reactions. Suppose if we have to prepare aromatic chloride, so for that we have to use cuprous and in this case this copper has an oxidation state of 1. So suppose in that case we will use CuCl along with that of HCl. So the reaction proceeds in such a manner that is the compound that we could get as a product is nothing but it is an aromatic chloride along with that of this nitrogen it will be removed as a byproduct. So suppose if you are using that is cuprous bromide. And that also in presence of HBr, then the product that we could get is nothing but an aromatic bromide along with that of that is this N2, it will be formed as a gas and it will be nothing but a byproduct. So, suppose if we use CuCn along with that of HCn, so the product that we could get is an aromatic cyanide along with that of this nitrogen, it will be evolved in the form of a gas and it is nothing but a byproduct. So this is how basically we can easily convert this aromatic diazonium chloride or this is known as that is aryl diazonium chloride into aromatic chloride, aromatic bromide and aromatic cyanide. So this was nothing but the general reaction and this all general reaction is related to Sandmeyer's reaction. So now let me give you the example related to this general reaction. So friends in the previous lecture as we have discussed that is we can convert that is the aniline into diazonium chloride. So in that case, I am considering the same example. Suppose if we consider a freshly prepared, that is benzene diazonium chloride. And suppose if I am treating it with cuprous chloride along with that of HCl. So in this case, the product that we could get is, we could get the main product as Chlorobenzene along with that of that is this nitrogen it will be removed as a byproduct in the form of a gas so therefore we can easily convert this benzene diazonium chloride to chlorobenzene so this reaction is also applicable for the other product also so as to obtain so for that let me give you the other examples so suppose if I'm considering the same that is benzene diazonium chloride and for that suppose if I'm treating it with CUBR along with that of HBR then the product that I could obtain is nothing but it would be a bromobenzene with the evolution of nitrogen gas as a byproduct so therefore we could also prepare the other groups for example if this is N2Cl that is present on this benzene ring and suppose if I am treating it with CUCN with the help of this HCN, we could easily convert this N2Cl group into with the evolution of nitrogen as a byproduct. So this is how basically we can prepare that is cyanobenzene. So that is the reason that this is all basically known as sand minus reaction. So this is it and this is what I want to discuss about. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood that is what is actually sand minus reaction and I hope I will see you next time. Till then, don't forget to subscribe to channel. Thank you so much.